Swiggity Swag, what's in the bag? Jay here, bringing you guys some more My Hero Academia Smash Tap here on the channel. And today, instead of having a gameplay video for you guys, I'm here to let you guys know some good banners that you can re-roll on when starting up Smash Tap. Because I know a lot of you guys are brand new to the game. You guys ask me, uh, you know, Jay, what is a good banner to summon on? And as I'm recording this video, uh, May 21st, 2018, there aren't currently any good banners to re-roll on. But I'm going to let you guys know some good banners in this video to re-roll on so in that way uh when you do start up smash tab or if you want to make an alternate account or something like that uh when one of these banners pop up you'll know just which banner you should re-roll on but i hope you guys do enjoy this video and i hope this video helps you guys out if it does don't forget to leave a like down below to show your support in the comments below let me know if you summoned on any of these banners or if you re-rolled on any of these banners let me know how good your pulls were because i'm pretty sure you guys got some pretty solid pulls because that's the whole point of re-rolling but again let me know in the comments below in the video description below be sure to check out the smash tab discord and twitter so then that way you guys can keep up with the announcements and that way you guys know when these banners do drop so then you you guys will know when to do the re-rolling and if you're new around here and you like smash tap consider hitting that subscribe button down below and be sure to ring the little bell so you don't miss another smash tap upload from me here on the channel but let's go ahead and jump into this video and the first thing that i feel like i need to mention in this video is the definition of re-rolling when it comes to gotcha games so re-rolling uh in a nutshell is basically you start your game and you pull on a banner and if you don't get anything good you restart your game until you uh get a good pull on the banner so what you do is you start up your game you start up the tutorial all that stuff and you go through your tutorial they give you your free gems and you summon on a banner if you don't pull anything good from that banner you clear your data you uh start up the tutorial again and you do it all over again until you get really good pulls and the reason why you usually re-roll is because you want a really good start to the game not only that but if you're free to play then you're really gonna want to re-roll so then that way uh, you don't have to sink money into the game you don't have to spend any of your precious gems or anything like that because they give you a clean like 50 to 75 gems when starting this game so you can use those gems on your uh, on the banners and stuff get your good pulls and then save everything else uh, for a later date or whatever so that is basically re-rolling in a nutshell uh, I guess to better explain it um, if you guys play Pokemon and you guys know about IVs and stuff like that let's say you find a legendary and you want a specific nature and you want uh you know specific ivs well you'll reset on that legendary until you get what you want that's basically re-rolling in an, an entire nutshell so there you guys go that is what re-rolling means so now that we know what re-rolling is let's go ahead and talk about some banners that you could re-roll on so the first banner we're going to talk about is your typical monthly smash fest banner now i'm going to go ahead and say that this is definitely not the best banner to re-roll on and the reason why is because there's only one featured smash fest unit on these banners uh just because they finally upped the rates of these banners banners because the uh, the ba uh, banner rates used to be really really bad uh, you guys but now that they're actually pretty decent uh, what they did was instead of having you know every smash fest uh, character available on these banners I think uh, they only have the featured unit available which isn't really a bad thing because if you do happen to re-roll on this single smash fest banner uh, what you can do is you can try to get at least two or three copies of of that character and if you get two or three copies of that character you can start ultra awakening that character so then you'll have your 99 all might and then you'll have your uh ultra awakened smash fest character and you'll have a pretty solid start to the game now with that being said again this is not really the best banner to re-roll on but it's still a pretty solid banner if there's nothing else available but a step up from this banner is actually the select smash fest banner because with this banner there are actually multiple smash fest characters that are available and not only that but they do start at 10 luck as well now this banner is actually really good to re-roll on because you can get multiple smash fest characters um on the on these banners and they start out at 10 luck uh so this is definitely a lot better than your single smash fest banner uh in terms of you know the amount of characters that are available uh but at the same time though with that being said that's a less chance for you to start ultra awakening your smash fest units and stuff as well but again these banners you know come around randomly uh but they're they're pretty solid banners and it really depends on the characters that are available on the banner as well because sometimes the banner is pretty worth it and then other times the banner isn't really all that worth it 
um but most of the time it's pretty worth it though so this, uh so single smash fest is pretty solid um not the best but it's still solid and in the smash fest uh the select smash fest banners uh they're pretty solid as well so the third banner we're going to be talking about is the hero day banner now this is like a brand new banner that they started doing i think um so i think uh, the, every 16th of the month they have some sort of hero day banner and this banner is pretty solid because smash fest characters are available on the banner so you can get multiple smash fest characters they're at max level and they're um max no not max luck they're at 20 luck okay i was about to say max luck for whatever reason so they're max level and they're at 20 luck now luck doesn't really play a huge factor unless you're like a whale and you're going to uh, try to 99 luck a smash fest unit then cool go ahead but if you're free to play then you're you're probably gonna be re-rolling on this banner and you're not gonna be worried about luck but instead uh, you're gonna be worried about the characters that you get so again multiple um, smash fest characters are available on this hero day banner and I think the last hero day banner we had we had uh, smash fest Bakugo smash fest Deku and smash fest all might Three units that are really really strong um, and if you do re-roll on this banner I would definitely recommend trying to get uh, at least two of the three characters on the banner so then that way you guys will have multiple uh, characters and you guys will have uh, choices when it comes to building teams as well so that's actually a pretty solid uh, re-roll banner so fourth banner we're gonna be talking about and I guess this is like fourth fix sixth, and seventh because th there's five banners in total are the attribute banners now we just had the attribute banners uh like a few weeks ago and these are really good reroll banners because one smash fest units are available and uh, two they start at 10 luck and three well again smash fest units are available you guys so oh well, that and then there's like five of these banners for every attribute so it's really good um these are really solid reroll banners as well i know one person uh re-rolled on the green banner and they got two all mites and two dekus in a single multi don't even know how that's possible but that's that's ridiculous and that's a very good start because that's two smash fest characters and that's one ultra awaken for each of them as well so that's really good uh if you do re-roll on these attribute banners i would recommend trying to get at least two smash fest characters um if there are two smash fest characters available which I'm pretty sure there are two uh, Smash Fest characters available on the attribute banners. Um, I would definitely recommend you guys uh, go for that whenever they decide to bring back uh, the attribute banner. I know like if they do bring them back, there will be more characters uh, to pull from. So that's actually uh, a really nice thing. Um, but yeah, attribute banners are really, really solid to summon on. And the last banner. Now, I personally think this is like the best banner to re-roll on and that is the class 1a banner this banner is really really nice to re-roll on because not only does it have smash fest characters but it has a lot of smash fest characters you guys i mean a whole lot this the class 1a banner everyone that is in class 1a is in that banner and that means there's a lot of smash fest units available so smash fest ida smash fest kirishima ochako deku both shoto um bakugo jiro momo there's just so many smash fest characters available on the banner if you guys do re-roll on the banner i would highly recommend you guys try to shoot for at least two to three uh smash fest characters uh so then that way again you have choices uh when you know playing the game not only that but they also start out at max level and they have five luck again five, uh, luck doesn't really play that much of a factor because you have your 99 luck leads already ready to go so when re-rolling definitely try to shoot for at least three of the characters um just because again there's so many smash fest characters available on the class 1a banner i personally think like i said the class 1a banner is like one of the best banners to re-roll on because just of the sheer amount of units available um on that banner definitely highly recommend now granted like there's a lot of characters to get and choose from but at the same time there again there's just a lot to choose from and it's like it's one of those things where it's like you're re-rolling like it probably won't even be all that bad i re-rolled on a class 1a banner for a friend of mine and i managed to pull the purple todoroki and the green deku and that's a pretty that's a good start to me uh so definitely class 1a banner to me is like the best banner to re-roll on if you guys don't think so let me know uh, a banner you think is really good to re-roll on in the comments below but 
with that i'm gonna go ahead and give it out of here there are probably some other banners uh that you could re-roll on like the birthday banner um i don't know if there's any other banners outside of the birthday banners that will probably have any like smash fest units on them i don't know really any any banner that has a smash fest unit is a pretty solid banner to re-roll on but i still personally think class 1a is the best one but i hope this video helped you guys out if it did don't forget to leave a like down below leave a comment down below as well if you re-rolled on any of these banners that i mentioned in this video and if you're new around here and you like smash tap consider hitting that subscribe button down below and ring the bell so you don't miss another smash tap upload from me here on the channel but with that i'm out thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next time peace